Hmm. What do I do if I need to work offline with SolidWorks Connected? Hello there, my name is Christopher and I'm a certified SolidWorks expert and an elite application engineer with a passion for the 3D Experience platform. Welcome to Hitchhiker's Guide to 3D Experience. In this video, we will look at how working offline works in SolidWorks Connected and in SolidWorks Desktop. So working offline with SolidWorks Desktop has never really been an issue. If you have a standalone SolidWorks license, you only need an internet connection when activating the product after the installation finishes. Aside from that, you can work offline as much as you please. Now with a network license for SolidWorks, you depend on an internet connection when pulling an available license from your license server. If you need to work offline though, it's still possible to borrow a license for a period of time. Now, how does it work with SolidWorks Connected then? Since it's always connected to the 3D Experience platform, does that mean that we can't work offline at all? Fortunately, that's not the case. We do have the ability to use the Work Offline function inside of SolidWorks Connected. This lets us take the SolidWorks Connected license offline for a period of up to 30 days. When using this, it's important to note that we need to create a desktop shortcut for SolidWorks Connected in order to launch the software, since we can launch it through the 3D Experience web browser without an internet connection. And we also need to make sure that all the files we need to work on from the platform are locked to our user and downloaded in the local file cache. With that done, we can work offline, edit existing files, create new ones, and once we go back online, we can save the files and the changes to the 3D Experience platform. Simple as that. Okay, so that's it for now. If you made it all the way through, please leave a comment if you have anything else you would like to see covered in a future video, just let me know. Also, if you haven't yet, go check out my previous video on the differences in available add-ins between SolidWorks Desktop and SolidWorks Connected. And be sure to look out for my next video covering the simulation tools available in SolidWorks Desktop and SolidWorks Connected. Thanks for now, see you next time. Thank you.